Hello everybody, it's me Jalil, and today I'll be doing something a little special, which I don't normally do for my LEGO CMF drafts. And if you read the title, um, I'll be giving you guys a preview of five figures that I drew from... Drumroll, please! Stranger Things Season 4! And you're probably wondering, how did I draw these figures, even though Stranger Things Season 4 isn't even out yet? So, uh, I mainly based it off leaks, um, so like, I use or a, a very helpful channel was Stranger Universe, um, I'll put a card to them up here, and yeah, um, I'm really excited for this season, um, there's a lot of new characters, um, like I said in my, um, Lego Stranger Things custom set I did, I'll also put that in the card. Um, Sorry. Um, it'll come out most probably a couple weeks after season four comes out because we have very few leaks of few characters. And at the time of filming, um, um, the only other figure I have to do or I can do right now is um, Lucas. So I'll be doing him. Um, I might do a video on that. I might not. Let me know if you guys want to see that in like a mini mini figure showcase video. But yeah, uh, see the preview figures. Okay, so here we have the first figure I did, and this is Dustin Henderson. Um, so yeah, um, I will not be providing pictures so that you guys can see it. Um, I will when like I, I release the whole CMF draft. So yeah, sorry about the background noise. Um, so he's the same, um, Dustin, uh, sorry, hair hat, hair piece, um, just a new coloring, um, it's in this light blue color, and then, um, he has printing, and it says thinking cap, um, it's very 80s-esque, and it feels like, in my opinion, something you'd find in the 80s, um, he has a new face print, um, I really like how it looks, um, a lot of the figures here are going to have neutral face prints because Stranger Things, it has its funny moments, but it's mainly like serious tone type thing. So yeah, um, I think it, I like how it turned out, like I said. And then um, his torso um, as a base, like to help me like plan everything out and like where goes, wh what goes where. I use the existing Dustin Henderson torso. And that was really helpful. Um, I really like how it turned out. And then he has um, medium legs still. Um, I feel like I'm going to be giving them medium legs for a while, I guess. Um, I don't know. Um, maybe if there is a season 5, I will still give them medium legs because they're, they're tall, but they're not taller than, per se, like Jonathan and Nancy and so on and so on. And then his accessory um, is a bike in um, metal. Um, I, yeah, metal. And then um, instead of using um, the, on the normal stud piece for the headlight, I use the one by one round plate. And this has to be my favorite figure that I've done. So yeah, let's get into the next figure. So here we have Max Mayfield. So for her hair piece, um, she, um, as a base, I mainly used that one ballerina hair piece with the low ponytail or bun. So yeah. Um, she has a new face print. I really like how it turned out. Um, if you were to look at um, the picture leaks, um, she looks kind of mad. So I decided to make her look mad. And then, um, here, um, she is using the Monkey Kid, um, earphone piece, which is connected to her cassette, um, which you can see on her torso and, um, her legs a little bit. Um, so in the pictures, um, she was wearing, like, this blue shirt under, like, a jean jacket. Um, I also really like how this one turned out. Um, she uses the same um, colored medium legs that Will uses in the Stranger Things set. And she has the same accessory as Dustin does with the bike in metal and with the one by one clear round plate. 
And yeah, um, let's get into the next figure. Okay, so here we have Steve Harrington. Um, so he uses the Han Solo hairpiece. Um, I see a lot of people use this hairpiece for him in like customs and even CMF drafts. So yeah, um, he has a new face print. Um, I like how it turned out. Um, let me know what you guys think of it. I think it looks kind of close to Joe Keery, but at the same time, I'm like, eh. And um, he has some new torso printing. I used the Mike Wheeler um, torso as a base for like the collar and the stripes. And um, in the leaks, um, it seems that Steve and um, Robin did end up getting the job at the family video store, um, which you'll remember um, that they were um, trying to get a job there. And yeah, and then um, he has some just normal plain uh, like green legs with some white shoe mm -hmm. printing. And then his accessory is a 2x3 tile, if I'm correct. Um, tile of a poster of Teen Wolf, which was also in some leaks of the video store. And I really like how the, um, I was going to make it like minifigure-esque. I tried to make it look like a minifigure, but then I thought, whatever, it's, it's not going to change the world or, you know what I mean? Like. It didn't matter if it was, and it, it would have been really complicated to get the arms like that, and then it, w it would be a whole process, so forget about what I said before when I was talking about all that other stuff, but yeah. Okay, so now we have Mike Wheeler. Um, so I decided to give him the same hair piece as from the LEGO Stranger Things. Um, set that came out in 2019. Um, he has a new face print. Um, it's a more neutral face print, like I said in this series. I'm probably gonna make like more neutral face prints. Um, he has some new torso printing. Um, it's just a white torso with um, printing for the Hellfire Club. Um, I really like how the printing turned out. I liked how I was, uh, I was able to make the logo Lego. So yeah, um, he has some black arms with some plain normal hands, and then I just gave him some black medium legs, and yeah, let's get into the next figure. Okay, so here we have the last figure. I'll be doing a preview for you guys. Um, here's Nancy Wheeler. Um, so she's the Hermione hairpiece, um, and in like a light brown color. Um, I was thinking about making a new hairpiece, but... I honestly, and most of the time, I think if there's a Lego hairpiece um, that looks, if there's an existing hairpiece that is accurate in some type of way, I'll work with it. And then that's what I basically did here. So she has a new face print. Um, it might be kind of hard to see. Um, well, the way I'm recording this, it looks kind of small, but might not um with her new face print um i gave her pink eyeshadow i don't know if she is gonna have pink eyeshadow i just added it so that it, it looked nice and it went with her outfit so then um she, um her torso um the torso part is like a light grayish color and then she has some dual molded arms which would be the same like the same arms from the Lego Dorothy minifigure that we got from the Lego mini minifigure series 2 series. So her torso print is a new one, like all these figures. Um, so she's wearing a white shirt and then over that she has like a vest on with um, like white, blue and pink different colored stripes I guess, yeah. And then she has a ribbon um, at her waist. And then um, she has a satchel in sand blue. Um, I like how that looks. And then she has um, the Marge Simpson skirt piece um, in teal. And then I, um, if you look at the leaks, um, um, sorry, I sometimes I blank out during recording these videos, so just deal with it. 
Um, so um, if you look at the leaks, um, her dress has like a water color type effect. So that's what I tried doing here. I feel like I got that nicely. And her legs, it's kind of hard to see, but they are dual molded. Um, the upper part is peach and then the lower part is this like yellowish tan. And um, the reason why I made it like this yellowish tan is because and the thing, it, it looks like she's wearing Uggs. Um, so yeah, um, this was the closest color, I think, where it didn't look like a skin color. And yeah, that it was the last um, preview figure. Okay, so there were all my figures. Um, all that I have so far. Um, yeah, um, later on in like trailers releases and I have like references for characters like Eleven and um, like Eleven, I, yeah, Eleven, um, um, Erica, Robin, all the new characters and like Joyce and Will and Jonathan. Like I said, with all the new characters, um, I'll try to work on some of those and then I will make a teaser trailer for that, so yeah. Um, so everybody, um, hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, if you want to keep notified for when that does come out and see very similar content like that, um, please um, like and subscribe and turn on those notifications. And everybody, um, have a nice day, um, stay safe. And very much.